Here's the latest update for the crisis in the North Korean peninsula. Today North Korea has threatened its neighbour and long-time ally China with grave consequences after Chinese state media called for tougher sanctions over Kim Jong-un's nuclear and ballistic missile tests. The DPRK, North Korea's official title, said the Chinese media calls for it to dismantle its nuclear program was, quote, an undisguised threat to an honest-minded neighbouring country which has a long history and tradition of friendship. It also stated that its ongoing nuclear program can never be changed or shaken and it will never beg for the continued friendship of China. For its part, China has asked both the US and North Korea to stop irritating each other and has apparently advised its citizens to leave the region, although this is unconfirmed. The White House has announced that President Donald Trump and President Vladimir Putin discussed working together to make diplomatic progress in the North Korean crisis. South Korean and Japanese air forces conducted training drills with the US as a show of force. Two supersonic B-1B bombers apparently ran a nuclear bomb dropping drill prompting North Korea to repeat that such provocation could push the situation into an all-out war leading to the doom of the US. In the mountains in the northeast of Korea it is being suggested that satellite imagery shows a testing facility possibly readying itself for another nuclear test. This follows five tests the country has undertaken so far, two of them only last year. It is well known that Kim Jong-un is pushing hard to develop a long-range ballistic missile capable of delivering a nuclear warhead to mainland America. This comes as North Korea arrested another American citizen for allegedly hostile acts against the state the third US citizen known to have been detained. This can only complicate the already tense situation. Japan has now sent its biggest warship into the region amid fears that should things escalate they could be a target as Japan is close enough for a North Korean strike. Additionally, new satellite images have shown a number of artificial islands built by the North Koreans. These show what appear to be missile launch pads, observation areas and roadways capable of supporting large transport vehicles. More evidence of Kim Jong-un's obsession with a military arms race. With the North Korean dictator voicing numerous threats to numerous countries, even China, the situation is highly volatile and has actually caused a surge in the sale and installation of nuclear bunkers ranging in price from around £30,000 to over a million. At least someone is doing well out of this. Hopefully these will never be used and will just become expensive storage sheds. But at the moment nothing is certain. Come back for more updates over the coming days and please hit that like button.